This is a demonstration of importing an SAP gateway service into JBoss Enterprise Data Services uh, to expose that data relationally. This will allow us to integrate that data with other data sources in our environment to uh, enable a single view of all our disparate sources. So the first thing we want to do in JBoss Developer Studio is switch to the TF Designer view. The TF Designer is the modeling tool used with JBoss Data Services. So we'll do a file import. Uh, scroll down to TF Designer. And we will select a file source XML since the data coming back from the gateway service will be XML. And we need to create a project. Do that here. And we'll take all the default out options. And now we have our project and we have the option of selecting from an XML file or a remote URL. Since the service is remote, we will choose that option. And now we need to create a new connection profile, which is the data file source. And then we're presented with either XML file URL or a REST web services URL. We're dealing with a REST web service, so we will choose REST. And then we'll call it SAP Bank. Since this is a bank um, service posted out on ES Workplace. And we'll use our connection URL to the ES Workplace service, returning a collection of bank information. And click Next, and we're ready to go. So we've got our connection profile created. It's going to load the data into our importer um, and then we'll need to create a source model or a source view and this will be used for connecting our model to the um, SAP service and on the next page you'll see the file contents it shows what the XML file looks like um, you'll need to find the content of the document coming back and here it is and then the root path is going to be in this case properties and properties that's the highest uh, common path for our data which follows below so we'll right click on that and set that as our root path see the SQL statement gets generated down below and then we can just double click on our columns that we want to consume and I'll just select five of these and then on the next page we need to create our view model name this is the model where the actual transformation will be created to um, consume the data so I'm going to call this bank view and Clean up this name a little bit there and click finish. Okay, so now this is the view that has been created. You can see it's a table with five columns, and if we double click on it, we can see the transformation. This is all SQL XML. Uh, that will be used to retrieve the values from the document coming back from the service using XPath. So we'll save that model and if we click the preview data button it will ask us to create a TID server. I'll go ahead and do that. We'll call it TID. And I've got a user uh, defined admin. 
save that, and then also we have uh, admin connection, the same user information. I'll go ahead and test that. And that connected successfully, click finish. And then we will proceed with the preview. So you can see down below the query has started and it has finished. There's the results. So just in a few minutes we're able to create our connection to the SAP Gateway Service and create a model that will expose that data relationally. And then we can take this table and join it with other disparate data sources, which will allow us a single view of all our data sources without writing any code or any interfaces, all done using JBoss Enterprise Data Services. So I hope you enjoyed this demonstration and have fun modeling your SAP Gateway services with JBoss Data Services.